Welcome back to Business Mathematics 1. I'm Eric from Mathematics Study Program, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, ITB. So for today, we are still going to discuss additional applications of the derivative with special focus on the concavity of the function. Now, let's start. So this is uh, the definition of concave, upward or downward. Uh, this is concave upward, concave downward. Okay, it's like a hand that uh, facing upward. It's like a hand that facing downward. Yeah? So that's what we we that's why we usually call concave upward, concave downward. Now let f be differentiable uh, function at i. F is concave upward or downward at i if f prime f prime is increasing. So if f prime is increasing, f is concave upward. So if you look at this, the slope of tangent line, f prime is the slope of tangent line. The slope of tangent line, if you know, this is increasing from negative, negative, positive, positive. So uh, with the increase of x, the, the slope is increasing. What about this one? the slope is decreasing. So when the slope is decreasing, uh, f is, uh, we call this f is concave upward. And this uh, is uh, the function f is concave downward. Okay, but by using the same concept as before, okay, like of t, the concavity can be de determined by using the second derivative. This is the, con uh, the relation between concavity and second derivative. Let f be 2 times differentiable at i, then f is concave upward at i if f prime is increasing. So if f double prime is uh, greater than 0, we know that f is concave upward. The same, we can do the same game from downward. So f is concave downward at interval i is if f double prime x is less than 0 at i. Okay, let's try uh, with the example. Determine the interval of concavity for the function fx equal this one. Okay, okay. Uh, finding the zeros of f double prime x. Uh, the first one, I have to find the derivative of this. This is the first derivative, and I have to find the derivative of the first derivative that is given by the second derivative. And the second derivative is given by this. I can uh, factor out. 60 x squared so i have this one x squared minus one and it can be factorized by x plus one and x minus one so the, the zeros is given by zero minus one and one okay yeah what about the interval of concavity i want to find the diagram of, of sine of f prime don't forget this is the sine of f prime okay yeah? so it, it will give you plus minus minus plus and plus it means concave upward, uh, minus concave downward, downward, upward. So we can conclude here by using the uh, theorem before that f is concave upward if uh, at sorry at this interval and concave downward at this interval. Okay, yeah. Uh, and at x equals minus one and x equals one, it, this is a special point that we usually call inflection points yeah we will discuss in the next section ah okay so uh, for finding the uh, the relative extrema we can also use the second derivative test in the previous video we have already uh, find how to uh, we already uh, know how to find the relative extrema by using the first derivative by this one, we want to see by the second derivative test. So this is an alternative for finding relative extrema. So suppose f double prime c exists on open interval, contain x equals c, and that and that f prime c equals zero. Sorry, this is f double prime x. Yeah. Okay. Then f double prime c is greater if f double prime c uh, greater than zero, then f has a relative minimum at x equals c because when uh, greater than zero it is uh, concave upward okay concave upward and at, at c we know that this is a relative minimum if i know that f double primes at 
c is greater than zero and f prime c equals zero. And this one is the second case you can see. But for f double prime c is zero, we con we cannot conclude anything. Uh, this is uh, the case. Okay. Yeah? This one f prime c is zero. F prime c is zero. But f double prime c is also zero here. F double prime C is also zero here. You can look this as maybe uh, you can take as an, uh, as an uh, example fx equal x cube or fx equals minus x cube. So when the second derivative is zero, you cannot can conclude anything. Uh, the test is inconclusive. But if uh, f double prime C is less than zero or minus than zero, you can conclude about the relative minimum or maximum at x equals C. Okay, yeah. now, and this is the inflection point that we have already discussed. This is uh, the change of the change of concavity. If you look, this is the inflection point in the inflection point. There are there is a change in uh, concavity for from concave upward to concave uh, downward. So uh, inflection point is defined as points where the graph of f changes concavity so we can have the other way around so this is uh, concave uh, downward and this is concave upward it can also happen okay yeah? okay uh, i think uh, this is all for the concavity uh, next in the next section uh, we will uh, try to discuss about sketching curve okay yeah? thank you very much